Hello, Toon Pyro. Oh, Aurelius here, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human Part 5 Partners, I believe the mission is called. I'm trying to remember now. Uh, yep, just called Partners. This is. We're gonna get the ending Found Deviant. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this one. So. One of the first nodes that we're going to be getting is the node for examining all the faces of the customers. Now, I forgot how many face scans you actually have to do to get this node, so I just did all of them. So, yeah, that's basically all I did for this first little section here, just analyzed all the faces. And then I did Hank last. So, over here we have uh, Jonah Graham. Edward Dempsey. Jimmy Peterson. The one with the shaggy hair is Hank Anderson. Kim Johan There's this guy his name is Samuel McCray By the way this is post recording so I will not be like this is post recording this isn't live recording voice Here we have Dennis Ward. And over here is last guy we're going to be scanning, Chris Roberts. Hey, get out of here. So Hank is right over here. Now this is not going to be the best ending playthrough. This is not going to be the best choices playthrough, mainly because we're going to make Hank mad for like the Lieutenant first two choices. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. If you want to become buddies with Hank, I recommend not threatening him like I do here. Because this will make Hank tense. The next note we're going to be getting is for spilling Hank's drink. This will make Hank mad and hostile towards you. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. They can even program assholes these days. Let it go. Duty calls. Now we're going to the crime scene. This has a couple nodes, but all the nodes are basically just clues that we're going to be getting. Plus the two magazines of... that always scares me. Plus the two magazines that we get later on in the game. Well, in, in this area. I'm going to stop um, pausing on all of the magazines because, I mean, if you really want to read the magazines, you can pause the video to read them. Or you could just get the game yourself and play through it. Magazines aren't that hard to find. Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. The 
actually saying it, though. Typical DPG. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. So you can use R1 to switch the camera angle. I forget that. I forget to read the top right corner in this recording until like way later. And I'm like, oh, that's why this is really confusing. Jesus, that smell. So the very first node we're going to get in the crime scene segment is going to be examining the eating club flyer over here. Which is blocked by the CSI guy right now. So we can examine the Eating Club flyer. Um, Eating Club, come visit us. Let's not, though. So next thing we're going to be doing is examining the chair. So we're going to head to the kitchen and look at the turned over chair. And this is fingerprints. Signs of a struggle. Any sign of a break in? Next thing we're going to do nope. is analyze the red ice, the which the is All the, the red ice near the, the television. The what do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbor. It's confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Next, we're going to analyze the baseball bat, I, I which is in the kitchen. Get yourself at home, I'll be outside if you need me. There's a dent here, and fingerprints, which belongs to Carl's Ortiz, criminal record of theft and aggravated assault. Then we can reconstruct this assault with the bat. We learned that the deviant took a knife, and we also learn that the Deviant was attacked, causing the emotional shock. Which turns most androids to Deviants. Next thing I attempt to do is analyze Carlos's body, but I was a little early to analyzing it, so I just stood there trying to like wonder how I was going to possibly analyze it. But I couldn't, so I analyzed it a bit later. Like, I, I keep using this to be like, what, why is it not marked? But you ha apparently you have to wait a certain amount of time before you can actually analyze this. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. After he says that, you can actually analyze the body. Boy, I decide against We're it right now, and analysis. I decide to sample the blood, which is Red right house. below me. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Oh Jesus! What the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't. Put any more evidence in your mouth, you got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Dried blood, Carlos Ortiz. Greater than nine days. So There's now, analysis on the we're going to open the closet here. The next thing we do is we're going to read the magazine, done, which is in the kitchen. Again, I'm not going to read it. If you want to read it, you can pause it, or you can play through the game yourself. So I just scroll through it so you guys can pause the video and read it if you want.
Next thing I'm gonna do is analyze the missing knife. Well, actually, for some reason I couldn't analyze the knife, so I didn't actually do that, but I, I don't know why, but it doesn't let me analyze the missing knife. So instead I just had to settle for analyzing the knife on the bloody floor. But I think for some reason I still got the node and I'm not really sure why. But that's that. It's probably because you cho I chose the bat first. So now I analyzed the blood on the wall. Which I just analyzed the writing and forgot to analyze the stuff by the door frame and stuff like that but I think I actually do examine those stuff just a bit later but for right now I accidentally skip over it next you want to check the shower which you will find um, RA9 writing and uh, a statue obsessive writing and then the statuette Religious offering. So now what I end up doing is just heading out and I take one more look around the entire house again. Basically what my original plan was was to waste time so I get the Hank wants to go node and ask for more time and then Hank would have refused. But instead I ended up getting all the clues and it basically blocks that entire option. So if you're going to strive for the node where Hank wants to go and you want to ask for more time but Hank refuses uh, because you don't have a nice bond with him, you do not want to check all the clues. That just makes it ten times worse. And I actually ended up doing it and then waiting for like another 15 minutes. Only for, to realize that I don't have to. So I ended up waiting 15 minutes. But it's cut out of the video because I, I ain't letting you guys sit through 15 minutes of me just staring at a wall or walking around looking at the environment and stuff like that. So, reconstructing this leads to the idea that we see the victim fell. We learn that the victim was stabbed, which we kind of already knew, but it just has a new perspective here. And we also learn that they came from the kitchen. So after learning all this, he was stabbed 28 times. Well, also he stabbed 28 yeah. times. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Then I go check the blood on the walls and outside. Um, there's also an option to just talk to Hank right now. Like you can, in fact, just talk to Hank. But instead, I just decided to check the walls and outside. Because, again, at this point, I was trying to get the node where Hank is just not wanting to be here anymore. So, that was more Carlos Ortiz blood. Going out here, reveals footprints of a police officer, not footprints of the android. Showing us that the android did not escape through the back door. The door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Deviant didn't escape this way. So the next thing I did I was I, I did check the other piece oh, of yeah. blood on the wall, but it got cut out of the video oh, yeah. as well as the other thing. It all started. So yeah. So here I just completely abandoned the idea of having Hank 
wanted to go as an option, and I decided to the struggle. do Questions. the um, what exactly happened? Connor Knows What Happens route, which is reconstructing the crime. Android. If I really wanted the ending, I could have just failed to reconstruct and got the crime unsolved ending. But I decided to just reconstruct the entire thing and get the found deviant ending. And this also gives me the idea to get the um, the chapter of the investigation. The android stabbed the victim. I mean, not investigation, the interrogation. Trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Now Hank's relationship with us has grew to tense instead of hostile. So basically we have to search for blue blood traces and uh, it's going to end up heading us towards the attic here. I was about to go in the kitchen before realizing the deviant came from the kitchen. So I ended up going to the attic. A ladder was used. We also get knowledge that the deviant was in the attic. Traces lead to the attic. Now we need to find something to climb up there with and then find the deviant. So the thing to climb up with is in the kitchen. Oh, originally, I knew it was one of the two chairs. Originally, I was going to get the knocked over chair, which is why I kept going towards it. But apparently, you hey, can hey, only hey, get the standing chair? up chair. I'm going to check something. I personally thought it would make more sense to take the fallen down chair. But apparently, that's not what you're supposed to do. So you can head up here. And all you really have to do for this segment is just press forward on the left stick. Just go forward using the left stick. And you automatically get this completed. So search the addict behind here is obviously not the android they try to trick you but if you just look through the covers it's easy to see it's not the android we see the deviant run past us and we sneak through this area here And we push this chair all the way. And if we keep walking forward, we will eventually have the deviant run out and face right towards us. Deviant located. I was just defending myself. Don't 
tunnel. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? This seemed like a choice, but it wasn't actually a choice at all. Because it always ends in the same way. So if you do choose this route, this guy will always be caught by the police, no matter what. Unless you get the crime unsolved ending. So I completed this um, flow chart to 70 something percent. I forgot exactly what percent it was. 75 percent completed. Partners, public opinion indifference, sophomore stability, question mark, Hank is tense. So we started in front of the bar, enter Jimmy's bar, face scan customers, face scan to Anderson, talk to Lieutenant Anderson, spill Hank's drink, Connor and Hank arrive at the scene, examine eating clump flyer, examine chair, analyze red eyes, analyze missing knife, analyze knife, um, analyze blood on walls, check shower, analyze baseball bat, Analyze Carlos's body, investigate writing, examine statue, get the magazines, analyze backyard, open closet, sample blood, reconstruct Carlos's last moment, reconstruct assault with bat, Connor knows what happened, and there's a few other things, but I decided to go really slow because I also wanted to read the percents. Which apparently most people did this option and not the option where you end up failing. We report to Lieutenant Anderson, we reconstructed the crime correctly, we follow the blue blood to the attic, we searched the attic, and we got the found deviant ending, which only 96% of people actually got. So. That's what we got for our ending. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, spare on that like button. And subscribe if you want to see more Detroit content.